Our Angela Rozier continues our team coverage tonight with a closer look at the investigations and the agencies involved. As of right now, that suspected gunman remains in federal custody and the Department of Justice is in charge with this case. But now that there will be a second investigation, well, we're learning that both the state and the feds will probably have to work together. Let's prosecute this guy and put him away so he doesn't get back out. The announcement that a second investigation into the attempted assassination of the former president was made at the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office Tuesday afternoon. I think this is an offense that should merit a life in prison. We reached out to State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg to find out just how common investigations like these are. You know, it is rare, but it does happen sometimes that you'll have joint investigations. But generally, you know, our office doesn't engage in turf wars. And so when the feds come in and they ask to take over a case, we defer to them. The governor is concerned about the federal government's ability to investigate and prosecute the suspected gunman who remains in federal custody and facing weapons charges. What will be interesting is that if the state does indeed conduct a separate investigation, they're going to depend on the evidence that's been collected by the same federal investigators that they distrust. He says the suspect could face an additional charge. Perhaps aggravated assault with a firearm against a federal law enforcement officer when this suspect allegedly pointed his rifle at a Secret Service agent. Well, Aaron Berg says the fact that this is a joint investigation sets a interesting dynamic. The governor says he wants to pursue the most serious charges. In West Palm Beach, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.